Hey everybody, I'm Drac. And I'm Shadow. And we are on Dezorus in Fantasy Star for the Sega Master System. Today we are going through the Laconian Shield Cave. I'm getting attacked by mammoths. Exactly. Because Zack is not around to, to harness the power of the Mastodon. And you were wondering if I could get a Power Rangers reference in here somewhere. And you did it. Do you want to know what would have made these dungeons better? Ron Wasserman music. <laughs> I can't remember lyrics to Ron Wasserman music uh, songs at the moment, but it would work. You can look them up on YouTube. Exactly. And just to, to let people know, we are about, in this video, we're about halfway through Dezorus. So we have a couple of more dungeons to do. In fact, I think we'll be able to get them done all fairly quickly. And then back to Palma for one more dungeon. And then buy Malay. We are almost done, people. Almost <clears> there. <throat> almost. Almost done. Almost done. done. <laughs> Makes me think of that. Uh, really so so rocks on from Shadow the Hedgehog. Almost dead. Oh yeah. Um I tried to find an MP3 of that like years ago and, and couldn't find it and then finally gave up. I should be able to find it now. Now that music's pretty that's around, so it's a lot easier to find now. Yeah. That's, and I, I apologize if I'm clearing my throat a lot. Uh, Alex just recently showed me the we were talking about it in the last part, the penguin episode for Yu-Gi-Oh abridged. And uh yeah. There are some parts of my brain I will never get back. <laughs> it truly gives whole new meaning to the word penguin. <laughs> Frostmon. Do you like penguins? I mean... So many bad jokes could be made there, and in fact, I'm pretty convinced that a Kronk-infused Taya would go around looking for Cthulhu. Just saying. And we have another white dragon to fight off. If we can get away from him. Mokuba, right. take his blue eyes card. But he's you. I don't care, just take it. And we proceed on in this dungeon. And to yep. another dragon. There are dragons all over this place. Yes, we're going to be running across a lot of... And Frostmans. And Frostmans. Mmm, Frostman. Mmm, Frostboy. <laughs> I'm not a frost boy, I'm a frost man! And there's a white dragon. Oh, see, sorry. we're commentating about the game, guys! Yeah, see, there you go, we have some game commentary. Now, what shall we go into now? <laughs> yeah, now that we've filled our game talking co quota. Exactly, we've filled our Shadows of the Empire quota. <laughs> so one thing I'm also going to bring up for people... Um, that is going to get referenced because we keep on saying, okay, we were on the desert planet, so we were on Tatooine, and Deserus is Hoth, and all that. And so people are going to say, you guys reference Final Fantasy a lot, but you don't mention the fact that Star Wars was in Final Fantasy. Yes, it was. Oh, really? It got loosely referenced. The second game, which never hit American shores until the PlayStation, did actually kind of follow the concepts of Star Wars. <clears throat> And by Star Wars, I mean A New Hope. So you had some some basic archetypes there. You had uh, their equivalent of a Death Star, things like that. So yeah, Fantasy Star wasn't the only one to to mimic Star Wars. You know, I mentioned this in part one that Kodama who made this game, she really liked the Star Wars franchise. Yeah. So I mean, these aren't the only two that have done it. I've seen a lot of Star Wars tropes in other games. You could pretty much make the claim that anybody who did a lightsaber after this was doing a Star Wars trope. And that includes big anime like Gundam. You know, because they always had to have lightsabers in them. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> That's what makes them cool. Exactly. Well, in fact, in the case of Gundam, they took it further. They, instead of just having... Uh, lightsabers. They had beam sockets. They had beam pole arms and things like that. Sounds pretty cool, actually. Mm -hmm. I like this physical hand-to-hand -hand combat sword stuff. That, that truly is is what I get the most kick out of in uh, in the Gundam series is is the interesting weapons that they come across or they come up with. <clears throat> it's another sport, yes. 
Scorpius has returned and is way underpowered for this level. But Scorpius doesn't care! What? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Let damage will surely bankrupt the museum, old chum. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, okay, and here's the treasure chest that we need. It has the Laconian Shield, which we will be giving to Alice. This is her final shield. We're getting there, guys. We're almost there. I think we should take uh, the time to mention hey, we have a blip channel now, right? Uh, do we? I thought she said you were going to make one. No, um, what I'm actually working on is a Tumblr. Oh, Tumblr, there we for go. For a Tumblr, a Tumblr blog. So okay. I will get you guys posted, and then I will even go retroactively put the link in all of the uh, other stuff, or other videos. Uh, no, we don't have a blip channel. We'd love to have one. Um, I think that's in the future for us, but... Is that sort of an invite thing, or is it a general... I'm not sure... Website? I'm not sure. We'll have to do some research on that. <clears throat> yeah, uh, but we will have a Tumblr very soon. Uh, maybe even like a, a little sub Facebook page kind of thing so that you guys can contact us as well as leave con uh, comments on the threads. We always re uh, we will read them. We will take your game suggestions and do LPs on them as long as we think we can make them work. Yeah. So uh, we'll keep you posted and I will put the link for the new Tumblr up then. Well, the Tumblr? Oh, you don't want the tumbler. We don't want the tumbler. Well, yes, we want the tumbler because it's, you know. Does it come it's... in black? Does it come in black? And here's another reference to a Morgan Freeman joke because we're still talking about the Yu Gi Oh! bridged episode <laughs> that he just showed me, which also referenced Morgan Freeman. Oh, it crap! Oh! We Who the turned on the Virtual Boy? Oh, no. No! I'm having headaches already! Welcome, everybody, to Corona Tower. Not to be confused with Corona Mountain, the final level of Mario Sunshine. Oh, yeah, that's true. I didn't think about that. No, and, and if people are actually asking, you know, who did turn on the Virtual Boy, Sega did. <laughs> These, this is one of two instances that will have kind of the same deal. Uh, this one and by Malay is also a very dark orange, and so you're just like, ugh. Hurting my eyes. Some serious eye damage may occur. Exactly. To which we blame Sega, not ourselves. We weren't the ones who made the red tile. Okay? Just saying. And even better, we have camouflaging red dragons. So one thing I would actually like to start adding to our future Let's Plays, Alex, mm -hmm. is... And uh, I think it would be a good thing just to... to give people kind of a, uh, a view of where we are. Uh, what games are you currently playing right now? Like, uh, Right now, I am playing Xenogears. I'm also going to pick up Sakura Wars 5 based on a recommendation from a friend, and I really am excited for that. I'm, that's about it. I've also thought about picking up the Sega All-Stars Racing in the meantime as well. See, we, we keep talking about what we have played in the past, but, you know, I, I realize back in our LPs, we aren't really talking about what we are playing currently. Uh, we've, we've hinted here and there that we're going to pick up a franchise or two. And in fact, Xenogears was the one you were going to pick up, right? That's right. So you are now picking it up. You're playing it currently. I'm assuming you're enjoying it? Yes, it's really fun. I actually do enjoy it. Okay. Uh, for me, I am currently playing a lot of games. Uh, Alex can make the joke all he wants. I'm going to point it out. I actually have like this big pile of games that are fairly new that have not been played. <laughs> so right now, um, I'm playing a couple of games. I'm playing Assassin's Creed, um, or I'm picking up the second game again because I want to go play all the Ezio games before I go into three. And then I'm also playing Darksiders 2 on a recommendation from a friend. Uh, I picked up Darksiders wasn't too interested, but but my friend kind of reassured me that Darksiders 2 would be better. And so I'm playing that currently, as well as uh, we're working on other LPs, and you'll see them when they come out. I'm playing a bunch of other games, guys, but I really don't want to list them off. <laughs> uh, I, know, I have the same problem with anime right now. I have a bunch of anime I want to watch, but just 
for whatever reason, I'm not watching them. Mm -hmm. And just for a cheap plug, uh, one of the games that I am playing is actually going to be going on my channel, Drac2326, uh, when it's done. Awesome. So, I know we advertised it early on, and then it was like, well, where's your own stuff? It's there, it just hasn't been finished. I'm going to also plug something I'm working on right now. I am going to start reviewing my entire anime collection. Title by title. Not in one video, but in a series of many, many videos. Okay. So, uh, I hope I can work out the logistics. I might have to ship them to my backup channel because I don't seem to get anything more than 15 minutes. Goddamn NHK. <laughs> stupid people and you're giving me copyright flags. I hate you so much. <laughs> So, so is there anything else that we need to plug on this that, you know, we just want to plug? I think that's it for our plug moments. All right, plug. Okay. <laughs> Pull the plug. Exactly. We're, we're done now. A sorcerer. A sorcerer indeed. The sorcerer of black chaos. Hey, I had to find a Yu-Gi-Oh reference somewhere. Works. Hmm. This is actually kind of funny because this is the first time we've seen this model and... It doesn't really fit outside of IMLA. It really kind of doesn't. Because it's just evil. It, you, you expect it to be in the main villain's domain. And man, am I starting to get the headaches from the virtual boy problem here. It's red and black. Can this end now? Oh, well. This is a very long dungeon. Yes. The, unfortunately, people will need to get used to this because you think this is bad? Wait till we get to buy an LA. Yeah, that's, that is a long, long dungeon. Yep. And riddled with traps, and so it can become even longer. It is frustrating, to say the least. But I think we are getting close to the end. I might be wrong. But I'm hoping Maybe. not. We keep on making winding turn after winding turn. I wonder what's going to be around the corner this time. Another corner. A titan. And a titan. Release the kraken. Insert Kratos joke here. Look, I know... Okay. Alex went to the Clash of the Titans, but seriously, dude, it's game culture. It's hard not to go to Kratos now. Even though, like, I'm not the biggest of God of War fans. I, I will say I am a fan of the franchise. Not a big one. Not, like, pro Quake Kratos, he's badass! No, I'm not that guy. And more dungeon. More dungeon. Funny, I find myself going to the ABGN Virtual Boy review right now in my head. Don't know why I'm going there. Oh, here we go! This fire was lit during the eclipse. Which occurs every hundred years. If you give me a gem from a dragon. And scroll text. <laughs> scroll text. I'll give you some of this fire. How about it? Mm, yes. You'll notice I went silent during that. <laughs> because if turn. somebody has flamed me for doing voices, he just did them. <laughs> I set him up for the flame. I'm not. I'm not worried about that. Oh, here we go. All right. One more dungeon to go. Actually, it's not really a dungeon as per we have to go look for a tree. But first of all, we are going to fly back. And go to the inn with the Desirous with the blonde powers. Yay. Blonde powers. Blonde powers. Activate. You know under that hat, it's got to be blonde hair. Yes, we're harassed. Get over it. How many times are we going to mention that we're harassed? As many times as it takes. The harassed agenda must be fulfilled! Okay, we're done. Odin does not need to be healed. <laughs> and what's really funny is that, like, in these, you're seeing Alice and Meow getting more damage than Noah and Odin, and like, I keep on saying, yeah, they're gonna become expensive. In this LP, they were fairly cheap. I'm not sure why. 
Odin and, and Noah, aside from dying a couple of times, have been fairly cheap in the repairs. Yeah, go figure that. Since when is a Sega game forgiving? Right. Well, and I'll I'll tell you, I mean, in the practice run, it was the opposite. It was Noah and Odin were expensive and Alice barely got hit. Yes, we practice run these games. We want to make sure that we get them right for you. Yes. More evil heads. More blue slime. Oh, this is going to be one of those chains where I hit, I hit like numerous enemies. Like two enemies, so I don't think so. No, like I keep running and then running into another one and another one. Oh, and yeah, another probably. One. Again, oh, I gotta go zoom, mother. Ow! <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> don't listen to him, just put your tasty, delicious brains to sleep. Doo -de -doo -de -doo -de -doo. <laughs> I think these dungeons have broken Alex's brain. <laughs> He's like, I want to go to anything but these dungeons. Yes. I'm done. I'm done with this place. <laughs> yes, we were both done with Hoth by the time that this actually got going, but... We got sick and tired of seeing blue walls and snow and all that. And that really just is how the game works. You, you have to do this grind on Deserus to get the final bits before you can go finish the game. Yep. Thankfully, now, again, we keep apologizing for this, and I'm going to stop. We love this game. Thankfully, 2 didn't have these issues. 2 had long dungeons, but that's okay. Because the dungeons weren't this. They weren't tile sets. They actually were, like, areas. So it, it will be actually very cool to, once we actually get around to it, start playing Fantasy Star 2 and showing how the series improved, and I think in a lot of cases, when you compare it to 1 to 2, it is a dramatic improvement. I'll be looking forward to seeing it. But before that, I must be warped into the dot hack. You must enter the world. Of, or yes, enter the world that never gets named. It's just called the world. The world. Ah, uh, and Ice Digger, come on! Ah... Uh. Flies can attack us in a tank somehow. Yes, they can. This is one of those things where I, I got a little irritated that it was our health bars and not like a ginormous ice digger health bar. That would have been cool. I kind of get why they didn't do it, but they should have. Just saying. Gotta shut up, water. Wow, for a second there, I actually thought you were going for the dilly dally shilly shally. I've been what, reading, uh, not reading, listening to way too many podcasts. And then somebody uh, convinced me to go watch Advent Children again. Ugh. Dilly dally shilly shall. Break through the ice. Oh, and look at all the trees. And one in the middle. I wonder what that is. Apparently attracts giant flies. But it does. Indeed. Oh, come on. Let me run. Oh, now, now it's on. They fired crap at me. Now I'm using the wand, because that's how much it's on. Tell me, giant flies, do you like penguins? I'm sure they love penguins. Exactly. Okay, so... Supposedly, there are no penguin enemies. Um, no, not in this game. I actually just barely realized that. But yeah, there are no penguin enemies. Okay, now we have this tree here that's just sitting in the middle of nowhere. Well, I don't like it, so we're going to burn it. Yeah, burn trees. Screw the environment. I have green hair. And we take the nuts of Larima from it and put it in the pot. Okay, the Laconian pot. Because there's such a distinction of pot. Dude. All right, and actually, boys and girls, that is all we have to do on, Desir uh, on Deserus. So we are going to be hightailing it back to get to Palma. Aren't you happy about that, Alex? I'm excited. No more Hoth. No more Hoth. No more Hoth. 
No more ha! Huh? No more winter, no more ice. Ugh, it's even Christmas. I have no problem with a snow pallet, as long as I'm not there constantly. And as long as it looks pretty. And this hoth doesn't look pretty. I actually think it does look pretty. It, lo it looks pretty a, a little bit, but what I mean by pretty is, like, the 3D games really got snowy atmospheres great mm -hmm. in some cases. So, like, some Final Fantasy games uh, were able to do it very, very well. Some of the current PC games do it really well. Where you get like you can always get kind of a slight it's snowing feel, right? I'm kind of picky when it comes to environments. You you all have to excuse me. And Scorpius has returned and brought his brothers. Scorpius, 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 and Scorpius. Because that Scorpius is fabulous! I don't know, I just tried to throw in a last one that was weird. That is weird. It's so weird I have nothing to say. I could have done a Shinji voice. <laughs> I don't want to hear you do Shinji. <laughs> I hate myself, and that's okay. Yeah, I can't do a Shinji voice. I don't want to do a Shinji voice. I have the same problem that most Ava... Ava, people who have watched Ava have. It's just Shinji. And they also ruined the character that I was actually remotely starting to like. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm like, ooh, there's actually something that might be likable in this character, aside from the other two that annoy the living crap out of me. And then they made her plot. And I was forever scarred. Screw you, Evangelion! I think at one point, Alex, we actually will have to do an Ava review. Yeah. Just we... to get people off our back. Just like, just do an Ava review already. You guys want to say so much about it. I really don't, but okay. <laughs> we'll figure something out. Crossover. It's my project. There you go. And I, oh, I only have the rebuild movies. I actually don't have the original series on DVD. Hmm. I've seen the original series, of course, if anybody is wondering, but I don't have it on DVD. Uh, and, and it's also rare to get now. Alright, we are heading to Gothic on Palma. We are almost done, guys. Almost done. Like I said, we are in the home stretch. Home stretch. We got one more dungeon to do, and then we are going to go get our revenge against Evil Eye Surgery. But before that, we're going to get our revenge against evil stone gaze people. By that, I mean Medusa. <sighs> what's, what's a green we're gonna, doing here? We're going to help the lunkhead get his revenge for being stupid. There must have been a rumor somewhere, Odin, about Medusa turning people to stone. So you didn't go look for the mirror shield before you went to go fight her? Oh, Odin, you're an idiot. Odin, the basis of most of our rage in this Fantasy Star LP. And he's not an idiot. He's a lunkhead. Which, in my opinion, is worse. Far worse. Okay. Now we're going to make our way back to... Kamenit, I believe. And just go heal up really quick before we head over to Medusa's Tower. Yeah, we don't go back where, to the cave. I think this is where I actually took the control because you went AFK for a moment. <laughs> and I got us hopelessly lost. Yes, when... Uh, no, actually, I think that was Forgotten Tower. Um, we had some things come up. Funniest thing is, when we do these LPs and we set ourselves off and we record all this, that is when we get popular. That is when the phone starts ringing for Alex. That's when the phone starts ringing for me. So, you know, we had we had situations that, in particular, I had to deal with, and so Alex was behind the helm. And so he got to mess around with Fantasy Star. Did you like it? Not really. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. It controls pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, it's basic. It's very basic. There, there's no real difference in controls in this compared to <gasps> Final Fantasy. 
Blonde power! Activate! Is it done? It's done. Okay, cool. I can put my arms down, though. And now we have to do something again. I'm gonna let you guys shed a tear. Because we have to get rid of the, the excess space. We have to get rid of the ice digger. Ice digger goes away. Shed your tear now. It's not like we couldn't use it anywhere but Hoth. We're also going to be getting rid of the gas shield and the... I think there's another key item we don't need anymore. Nah, never mind. All right, and we are going to go ahead and take a quick break before heading over to Medusa's Tower. Once again, I am Drac. And I'm Shadow. 